Dear ladies and gentlemen, the stage is all set to witness the most happening event of 2021, where a genius student, Kautilya Pandit, is going to have a discussion with the youngest professor, Master Subono Isaac. This child, today, is in the name of Google Boy. My name is Kautilya Pandit. Subono Isaac Bhavi, who is known as the god of mathematics. became the youngest professor in the history of mankind professor the bono is very thank you kartil ya pandi bono what is your message for entire student community my message for students around the world is that uh, some people think that their child should play all day thinking that they'll learn eventually and that they think like a uh, peer john piaje that there are stages of learning and as a child grows older uh, he has this like more knowledge as he grows older from 4 to 7 to 18 i mean i don't exactly know the exact boundaries of all the stages but the thing is these stages are wrong it's not that a child learns by eight eight does not matter eight isn't part of the equation it's how you teach them that's part of their equation it's their gpd their zone of proximal development Uh, which is uh, Vygotsky's uh, point of view, and the zone of proximal development is basically something that uh, measures how much you've learned, how much you already know, and uh, how much you can't do without help, and how much you absolutely don't know. So uh, that's what a zone of proximal development is, and when you expand this bubble of a uh, GPD. This a ZPD a bubble grows, and this ZPD doesn't grow based on age. It grows based on experience. Who teaches you things like that? So, I that's my personal opinion. Uh, that's my personal opinion. People shouldn't be teaching students to get that they'll learn eventually. People should be teaching uh, students at a very young age, so they can uh, tackle the more complex stuff as a media mate, and possibly tackle the entire universe at a very old age. So that's what I think. Uh, start them off early in life instead of thinking that they'll learn. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.